Hey guys, what's up? It's Kyle here. Um, I'm starting a new channel and uh, I'm just uh, wanting to cover, you know, cool vehicles of all types uh, from mopeds and e-bikes to, uh, you know, cool cars, trucks, off-road vehicles, uh, you know, just anything that interests me and hopefully it interests you guys as well. Uh, and so the one I'm going to start with here is uh, a vehicle that I just purchased. Uh, I just imported it from Texas actually and this is the first vehicle that I've ever imported. Um, it actually went pretty well, um, you know, at the border, all that kind of stuff went smoothly. Uh, the vehicle got up here last night and uh, I dropped it off at my shop here and I'm just kind of going over it today so I thought I'd make a video and kind of do like a bit of a walk around and uh, you know you can check it out with me um, so I'll just kind of as I go around it I'll just kind of go over you know what I see and uh, you know what I know like of the of the vehicle that the previous owner has told me <clears throat> and um, you know I, I have a, a sh you know kind of short list of uh, you know some things that I want to do to it uh, but for the most part it's you know it's done it's turnkey it's ready to go um, as far as a, a 92 Suzuki Samurai goes, um, you know, it's in great shape. Obviously being from Texas, um, you know, you're hard pressed to find any rust on it, uh, which is very rare for a vehicle, especially older vehicles up here in Canada. I'm just outside Toronto. Um, so yeah, let's do a little walk around and uh, you can have a look at it, see what you think. And, uh, you know, let me know if you have any suggestions in the comments. Uh, on you know what to do to it, uh, but like I said, I think it's pretty turnkey. Um, you know, it's it's ready for the trails, and that's kind of what I want to use it for. Um, uh, so yeah, let's uh, let's start there. Um, so like I said, it's a '92 Suzuki Samurai. So it's got the 1.3 liter stock engine, uh, fuel injected, which is nice because uh, you know you don't have to fool around with tuning the carb and all that kind of stuff. Uh, most noticeably, um, you'll see that it is uh, lifted, obviously, <clears throat> on uh, Toyota axles. <clears throat> and it has a, a Trail Tough uh, conversion kit uh, for, I believe, their Jeep uh, YJ leaf springs uh, it's got a steering stabilizer there obviously nice aluminum rad aftermarket LED lights which I actually kind of like I was initially I was gonna uh, swap those out for something different but I kind of like the red it's sort of unique and they look really cool when they're lit up I can show you that after um, it's got upper shock mounts long travel shocks steel braided brake lines um, I think these look like Pro Comp uh, beadlock 17 inch wheels with Cooper STT Pro uh, tires, which have lots of tread. Um, I've never uh, I've never had these Coopers before, but I always see them, and um, you know, so I'm kind of looking forward to doing some off roading with them and seeing what I think. Um, the body itself is is you know pretty pretty stock. Uh, it's got some LED lights on the front there, which are going to help at night. Um, I've already tested them out. They're super bright. A uh, little scuff on the fender there, but no big deal. Same with the back here. That's really the only rust because the paint was scraped off. Um, the whole underside has this like chassis saver or like undercoating on it. Um, it's white. And I'm still undecided. I'm not sure. I might just I might just paint it black, uh, you know, to kind of clean it up and stuff. Um, aside from that, it's got the stock rear bumper. Same in the back. Just got a conversion kit for the Jeep YJ Springs. Toyota rear diff, or sorry, rear axle. Um, it's got rear drum brakes. It's got it wired up with a seven pin. The exhaust is uh, straight pipe 
with just a resonator and then a this tip at the back here which I like because it kind of comes out sort of like sort of like the factory uh, exhaust does um, it's got the soft top and I just did a quick cleanup on it but I'll give you a I'll give you a quick look at the inside it's got a grant steering wheel just some black plastic door panels it's got the white gauges uh, and then yeah just a little a little tack there um, again the interiors pretty much stock except for the seats they got like these it's got these like leather racing style seats which are actually pretty decent they're pretty comfortable um, the floor has been uh, it's like a linex I guess on the on the floor um, two speakers in the front there it had six by nines in the back but I took them out <laughs> um, so you know pretty plain Jane back here I might get a factory bench seat to put in the back there because I got two kids and uh, I'm hoping that they're gonna do some off-roading with me hit some trails um, maybe I'll do a little uh, little cold start here for you it's pretty loud because it's straight piped but all right Yeah, sticking with the, the factory uh, or original motor, um, it does have uh, you know gears in it to uh, turn these bigger tires. It looks like the it's got custom axle shafts and uh, some spacers and whatnot. Um, and that's pretty much it for now. I just thought uh, you know I would do a little walk around on it and um, show you guys the vehicle and. Uh, I keep you up to date on, uh, you know, little modifications that I'm doing. But uh, yeah, right now, I mean, I'm super happy. Like I said, it just landed last night and um, super happy with it. The shape, the condition, uh, it's super solid. A few little dings and dents, but I mean, this is original paint for a 92 Samurai. I'd say it's pretty, pretty damn good. And uh, I'm looking forward to doing some off-roading with it. Um, I'm pretty excited, but I gotta wait for the winter now. Um, being that it's December, I got a few months before I can take it out. At least a few months, I guess, before I can take it out and do some off-roading. Uh, but yeah, do some little cosmetic and little upgrades in the meantime. And uh, yeah, this is the first video, but there's more to come. So check it out and uh, yeah, drop me a comment. All right, cheers.